Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to see calendar in Salesforce. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Salesforce, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. To view and manage your calendar in Salesforce, you can use the built-in calendar feature that allows you to track events, tasks, and appointments. Once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the app launcher that's beside setup. You see these colored circles or buttons? I want you to click on it and type in calendar. You see that? That's going to be under items. I want you to click on it. Now, obviously, this is how you can view or see the calendar on Salesforce. You have multiple options here. You can put in the availability for day, month, table. You can put in a new event. You can see this is going to be the kind of view. If you want to remove the right side pane, just click that. If you want to expand, of course, you can put it as well. Now, there's going to be an option here that says to-do list. And of course, you can put in reminders, which we have a separate video on how to set reminders on Salesforce that you might want to check in our channel. Please, and like and subscribe to our Deep Labs YouTube channel as well. Well at it. In the to-do list, you can have a filter, right? You can filter for task, link in, call, email, and task filters like priority, status, and a lot more. And click on apply so that would reflect on the calendar dates if you wanted to add a new event here it's a lot easier because all you have to do is click on this one put in the location put in the start date is it going to be like october 9th october 13th and a lot more is it going to be an all day event for example i'm going to put in the description right here you can put in the uh, search contacts if you're working with the multiple freelancers team members or even your client you can put them here and also to uh, the related account once you're happy with that all you have to do is click on save now this event or notification will be created in your calendar right so there's a lot that you can work with here on the salesforce calendar now here, you see there's going to be like a refresh button if um, there's going to be uh, like a problem not showing some items here. And by following all of these steps, you can effectively view and manage your calendar in Salesforce, helping you stay organized and on top of your tasks and events. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.